front of me right now. He's older than me. That doesn't mean he's not a child. And he do that to me. That's not good. And you do that to him. That's not good I'm at not all. I'm not doing anything. Didn't you? You went down <laughs> fast. Yeah, but he crushed yeah. my leg. Show that guy. And do this. <laughs> Flashback comes <laughs> back one point two. <laughs> Jesus. And he put my table oh. over there. Oh my god. He went very fair. I am fair. <laughs> He's He's not not I'm so fair. You've no idea how fair I am. So do something. No. So do I. Oh, that <laughs> Okay, fine. So that's enough of that. Put it away, please. What was that reaction? Bye, Sam! Come on. Two of you sit forward, please. Fuang? Yes. Get the table. get the table. Get ready for class. Fight Who the person who takes the table out is the person who takes the table. Will you let Faisal walk by? Yes, I want to go on. Faisal, put the table back, please. <laughs> Faisal. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Actually, there's not move right. when I'm coming back. I thought I'd push away from my book. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. No. Just put it back on. Yeah, why is that? You got it. I don't know if it's just a week. Wrong. Just scoop by Faisal. Right. Now, uh, I think we're on to doing some more questions. One day you will die, and I will laugh at you. Are we on late and tea? We have to. That's right, so we'll do a tutorial now. Right. We'll start now. Um, I said we're going to look at some examples. We'll have a tutorial now. Okay. Not do the but there wasn't really a homework because I didn't. We did the questions last time for specific heat, and late in teach we didn't finish all the examples. There were still two more examples. So we'll do examples and the homework now. Okay. Uh, so I think we have two more to go. Is that what we said? Yes. Now I just need to plug this projector in. So while I'm plugging it in, I can read the info to you. Um, we did the last one we did was the 10 grams of ice, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'll read the question now. If you can write down the information, and get a start on it, and then I'll do the answer. Are you all listening? So the question is this: Some ice at zero Celsius was mixed to. 330 grams of water, and the water is at 15 Celsius, 1, 5, 15. The ice and water was mixed until the ice melted. So you kept mixing the two together until the ice melted. The final temperature of the mixture was 5 Celsius. So after you mix it all together, you get 5 Celsius at the end. And my question is, how much ice did you use? So in this question, it is the mass of the ice which is unknown. I'll read it one more time, and then I want you to start. Some ice at zero Celsius was mixed to 330 grams of water. 330 grams of water at 15 Celsius. The ice and water was mixed until the ice melted. The final temperature of the mixture was 5. How much ice was added? Okay, I'll give you a couple of minutes and then we'll do this one.
And if you need to read the question there, it is there. Do you want to put in ground or in ice Yeah, you know that's ridiculous. Because <laughs> you have 330 grams of water, <laughs> simply add in 1.3 kilograms of ice. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't, I, don't, I don't mean to make fun of you, yeah, yeah, but an important skill in physics is deciding if your answer is reasonable. That's totally unreasonable. Add that much ice, you're not adding ice to water, you're adding water to ice. <laughs> yeah, 0 0.04 sounds more like it. How about 0.65 grams? 0.65? That's like not <laughs> like a. It's just a flake of ice. Oh, kilogram. Let's calculate. Let's so calculate. Uh, zero point zero four or something. Okay, let's have a look. Right. So at the very beginning, how much water do you have? Zero point three three. Very good. Zero point three three, and it's temperature fifteen, and you want to decrease the temperature to five. And you put in some ice of M, and it's at zero. And then the ice also changes. What would be the ice's temperature at the end? Five. 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 Uh, and actually, it must have melted along the way then, obviously. So what is gaining energy here? Uh, the ice. And what is losing energy? The water. the water. So the gain by the ice is equal to what's lost by the water. So MC delta theta for the water would equal ML for the ice plus MC delta theta for the melted ice. So that's 0 0.334181, isn't it? And then the delta theta for the water is 10. 
equals m and what's the r please? Three three four. Three three four kilo. Mm. Plus m four one eight one and the delta theta here? No, I think two one zero. No, 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 no. The ice is at zero and it becomes water. The water warms up, not the ice. Yeah. Mm. Um, what's this here? Five. Yeah. So the M will be zero point three three times four one eight one O over three three four O O O plus four one eight one times five. So just take out the calculator here. 0 0.33 times 41810 over 334000 plus 4181 times 5. And you get this much. If we make this into grams, <coughs> uh, no, sorry, 38.5. Nine grams. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So what he did was wrong, but he got the right answer. Could no, he got zero point zero four. Yeah, so forty grams. Basically, Lee's mistake was here. He had two one. One zero. Yeah, which means that this number here was wrong. It was smaller than what he should have had, which made the fraction bigger <laughs> than what it should be. However. Because this number is the dominant number in the denominator, it didn't affect the final answer much, but enough to make his answer 40 grams, which would be too far off for the exam. So why is the water not ice again? Because the ice is at zero and it m instantly melts to become water. So it's the water from the melted ice that warms up, not the ice itself. The ice doesn't have to warm up. It's already ready to melt. It's at zero. Is that one okay? Did anybody actually get that? I'm only wrong in... I thought it's only 334, not 334 multiplied 10. Still wrong. Still wrong. Sorry. Did anyone get it? Yeah. No? Mm. Mm. Alright, you need to write it down then. Everybody does, I suppose. Write this one down, please. Even Lee got it wrong, so you should write it down. I'm going to look at Faisal, so did you get it right? No. Then write it down. Yeah, I'm writing. Can't you hear my sentence? Yusuf? Yeah. Light it wrong. Oh. What was the mistake? Everything. Everything. I like um yeah. I like it. Oh the statement. <laughs> Okay, can we go to the next one now? Water, what? What from? What? Let's see your calculator. No, don't, no, 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 no. Do not use this button. That's why you're getting the wrong answer. Use this button on the calculator. Don't use this. No, it's not the same. It's yes, so it's not the same. Yes, you'd have to use brackets. Okay. Let me see. Let me. Come on, just this one. What's this? Ten to the twelve. It's this. No, it's not. That's too. Yeah, this is too big. Too big. What do you mean? It's not exactly mine. I don't have tens of a twelve. What are you talking about? For one. For one. There, look, there it is on the calculator. Look, that's what you type in. Okay, that's the 
Okay, next one. Try this one, please. Water of mass 250 grams was added to a copper calorimeter, which is a cup, of mass 25 grams. The water was stirred until all the water and copper were in thermal equilibrium. The temperature X was recorded. An electric heat and element was placed into the water. It took two minutes for a 5.5 kilowatt electric element to boil off the water. Assuming no heat loss, uh, calculate the temperature X. So you have water and copper at some temperature X and you heat it until all the water boils away. What was the original temperature? Okay, so again, it's like the last one. You do it the same way. It's just what's the unknown is different each time. So here, the original temperature is unknown. But you can work out, for example, what is the delta theta? Well, what temperature are you trying to get it to? 100. 100. So it'd be 100 minus x. Yes. You understand? Yes. I think you can do it. Try. Yes. Wait, so they're both liquids in the liquid form? No. no, copper cup is in solid form. Yeah, but then it was turned. Yes. Go cool. You're complicating it, yeah, yeah. You just put water in the cup and stir it. Nothing fancy happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah? 100 minus x, because x is less than 100. Yes, the copper and the water have the same temperature, X. Q equals P over T, or P equals Q over T? P equals Q over T. So Q equals P T. Yes. Anybody having any luck with this? Oh, good. We're learning. That's nice.
What? What's going on? Is that your phone? Yeah, I'm going to sign up with No, leave it. Okay. Unless, it. Unless it starts ringing or becomes annoying, we'll just leave it. Yeah. Okay, anyone have an answer yet? Be. No. It's bigger than what I thought. Uh, it looks nicer. What did you get over? What did you get the? 11 points. The initial. Yeah. Okay. Let's have a look. So, at the beginning, you had the copper and the water. Um, the water was a mass of 0 0.25 kg. No. Zero, zero. Oh, okay. The cup, yeah, yeah. The cup is 0 0.0. And the cup is 0 0.025 kilograms. And the, both of them are at X. And at the end of the story, what is the temperature of the copper? 100. And of the steam? 100. Oh. What? I didn't take it as steam, I took it as water at 100. So, uh -huh. that was the wrong answer. No, you're incorrect. Definitely wrong answer. Right. So, power equals work over time. So that means. Uh, work equals power multiplied by time. So Q, well that means Q equals power multiplied by time. So that means Q, or delta Q really, is power, which is 5500, multiplied by 120. Well, what is the delta Q? Well, firstly, the copper warms up. So that's M. Uh, what's the C for copper? 385 is it? Yeah. MC delta theta plus, and then the water warms up, MC delta theta, and then finally the water turns into steam. Uh, what's that? 2265? And that should equal, I don't have space, I'll just write it here, this number. So you can get 0 0.025 times 385 plus 0 0.25 times 4181 bracket 100 minus x uh, because this and this are in common. And then what else I can do is take this to the other side. So you get equals 5500120 minus well, I might as well write it now that I have space. Uh, minus 0 0.25226500. So then you can get 100 minus x equals 5500 times 120 minus 0 0.25 times 2265000 over 0 0.025385 plus. 0 0.254181. If I take this 100 to the right, that's minus 100, and this is gone. And I don't want the minus, I want x. So I'll multiply everything by minus. So I'm multiplying by minus, this gets a minus, and this becomes a plus. So on the calculator, I need to type in this big fraction. 
minus minus fraction and then plus a hundred five five oh oh times one two oh minus zero point two five times two two six five oh 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 over zero point zero two five times three eight five plus zero point two five times four one eight one eleven point one is the answer I got here. Good job. Okay, did anyone else get that? Yeah, very good, very good. So I feel like we're getting the hang of these now. Very good, very good. Okay. Um, do Do you need to write that down, or can I continue? Just a sec, yeah. Now you notice for me, I like not to simplify because I feel like it would take me so long to simplify at each step and just carry all the numbers until the very end. I don't know if that's what you're doing or if you're simplifying as you go along. Uh, Yusuf, for example, are you simplifying as you go or carrying numbers like me? Simplifying what? Simplifying, simplifying. Lee, are you simplifying or are you like me carrying all the numbers? Maybe. Like this, okay. Andrew? Yeah, same. Carrying the numbers until the end? Yeah. What do you think the advantage is of carrying all the numbers until the end? It'll save time. It'll save time and there's another advantage. Yeah, you can find out where you want to go. That's true. You could, if you made a mistake, you can track the changes until the end and fix it at the end. And for accuracy as well. Like for example, imagine I got this number here wrong, here. Then I would just need to change that here at the end. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay, continue. Wait, yes. This is the water becomes steam. The vaporization. Right, here's some yeah. Here. Oh you want me to write the formula down in letters for your notes, is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'll just write at the bottom, okay? So this is M C delta theta for the copper plus M C delta <coughs> theta for the water plus the M L for the uh, water becoming steamed. And this will equal the uh, energy used by the, uh, the element. Okay, continue. Right. Uh, let's do these together. So, again, just like with the examples I did, they start off easy and then we get harder stories. Uh, just so you know, questions five and six, I think, were exam questions. One, two are. Yeah, one and two are, are kind of too easy. Don't, don't start with one and two. Um, start with number six. <laughs> yes, if you like Faisal, if, if you want to start with six and go backwards, but for the rest of the class, you could start at three. Um, five and six are hard. I don't think six is that hard. Five and six are the hardest. Question four. The ice turned into steam, but the steam did not go past a hundred. So uh, I think this is just me saying you don't need to consider the steam going past a hundred. That it stayed at a hundred. The maximum temperature in the problem is a hundred. Nothing goes past a hundred. The maximum temperature is one hundred. No, it's yeah. 
the three hour drink we have on uh, Wednesday. No. We have four. <laughs> and then one, now the time. Two and then a uh, class and then one. Yeah. What class? Physics. Yeah. It's not like you would get anything. It's just only one day to go to the gym now. No, it's still three hours break. Yes, but, but not consecutive. Yeah. So I need two and then hours and then break. Mm. Five so? Yeah. Do a question please on the board. On the board? <laughs> Which one do you start with? Alright, let me correct let me correct my preposition here. Do a question from the board. Or do a question that's on the board. No. <coughs> Choose the grammar form you like. But I don't need you to do a question that's in the board or behind the board. Or above the board or below the board. How about off the projector? Maybe off of the projector. Oh. No, 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 no. Stop looking at your timetable. I know it's exciting and all that, but I want you to do one of these questions. Thank you. I would like everyone to do number three, but for those who are finding these quite easy now, you can start and do five and six. Right, so please stop poking him with a pencil and do one of the questions. I don't know what you too. Okay. Your choices are quite simple. Do a question. That is the end of your choices. Okay. Which one are you doing, Lee? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Um, you Five is like the one we just did. Look at what these buttons do. Uh oh. Five, seven, I don't see you writing. I want you working. Can't you hear my template? I hope you're nearly finished number three now. It doesn't take that long to do. And the fixed one. Hmm. The trick is that the glass is heating. So the nitrogen is providing the energy. Because no. nitrogen is not gaining energy. Yes, think so about it. What is are you it? talking about, man? Nitrogen is quite cold and glass is quite warm. Yeah. So how could the heat flow from the colder nitrogen to the hotter glass? True, but we're not giving nitrogen any energy so that it boils, evaporates. Because we are. We're giving it from the glass. But the nit oh, the nitrogen is colder. Yes, by yeah, so liquid nitrogen, nitrogen is nitrogen colder than glass. My now, you see, you don't need to be such a smart guy earlier with other students because you can come out with stupid things yourself. Doesn't feel so great now, does it, Faisal? Huh? Huh? Does it?
Don't bully me. Does it? <laughs> That's right. I hope you learned your lesson now. You want me to shock you? Go on. What? I don't get it. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> of course it is not. Stop the more. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 I so I want you to do the question. I'm really trying to do things. Like I'm really thinking about it. <sighs> Did you finish it, Yusuf? Will we do it now? Yeah. Yeah, I think we should stop doing this. What's it? Rot is faster. Yeah, but what's the Oh, grammar question, exciting. Which one? Which one? Yeah, no, they're right. What they're saying is right. Brot is past tense. We need past tense. Yes. Thermal equilibrium. Mm. Then it was heated up. Okay. Right, uh, Yusuf, what's the what's the story here? How much ice do we have at the beginning? Zero point three. Zero point three, and its temperature is minus, minus one hundred. So if you think about the story, first it has to become ice at zero, correct? And then it has to become water at zero. And then it has to become water at a hundred. Then it has to become uh, steam at a hundred. And then finally it has to become steam at two hundred. So you have in total here MC delta theta for the ice plus ML and this is for the fusion plus MC delta theta for the water <coughs> plus ML for the vaporization plus MC delta theta for the uh, steam yeah? yeah? what's wrong you said? you look so unhappy Oh goodness! I go like I've only been doing this for like one minute, and now I'm going to get the answer on my calculator. So. Wait until you're just in a class with Faisal, then you'll have most problems. Right. And um, now, look. Okay. Listen. Everything in this formula has M in it, right? And M is the same, right? So to make our lives easier, what you could just do is take okay. the M out and then just uh, have it as multiplying everything here. It just makes less to type. So what is the M? 0 0.3 times. Okay. What is the delta theta at the beginning? So a hundred then. Yeah. And then what is the latent heat of um, fusion? Three three four thousand. What? What? No, it is. It is. It is. Trust me. It is. Oh, thank you. Now, very goodly. I knew I could trust you. Uh, it's not 4181, as Lee correctly said. It's 2110. Thank you, Lee. Okay. Then, what is the... Uh, then, this is 4181000. Next. What's vaporization? 2265. 000. And then, finally... 
Hang on. I lost yeah, where I am. Four one eight one zero zero zero. That's for oh, that's right, yeah, and then we're on to the vaporization two two six five zero 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 or zero zero. Why is it three, three zeros? Zero. Three, three zeros. Yes. Okay. No, why is that three zeros? Yeah. Times one hundred. Yeah. No, no, this this is this one. No, 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 no. Times one hundred. Oh. oh, I have too many zeros. Like this. Thank you. And this one has the right number, yeah. And then the last one is. C delta theta. What's the C for steam? Oh, no. No. One. Is it only oh, that? Two zero eight zero. Two zero eight zero. Ah, and yeah. the, zero, the, zero. the delta theta. Zero, zero. So this is how much energy is required. Is that what I wanted? Yes. No, it's not. I want to know how long it would take. So I need this much energy. Um, one o three, one o three, one megajoules. So, power equals work over time. So time equals work over power, which is one o three one o o o over the power. And what's the power here? No. Because it's 90 percent, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 90 percent efficient. So it's 4,000 times 90 over 100. So I just need to take this answer and put it over 4,000 times 0 0.9, and I get this 286 seconds. My answer is. Seventy Why not? Too much. Too much? I don't think so. I thought it was too small. Yeah. But how much ice did we ha have at the beginning? Oh, only three hundred. Well, three hundred grams is a lot. How much water did we have? Point three. Oh, point three kilograms. Over well, the cattle is pretty powerful. Four thousand. What's the ninety over one hundred? That's the power of the cattle. Ninety percent efficient. Two hundred eighty-six divided by sixty. That's like four minutes. Nearly five minutes. Okay, I guess that seems like a reasonable answer. Anything. I just I would have guessed it would have taken longer than this, but uh, I think up until now my cattle have only been one or two thousand watts. This cattle is four thousand watts. Okay, uh, we'll do six really quick. No, wait. How many people have tried six? No, you didn't. I'm not counting anything done in your head. Anyone else? Okay, so there's still four, five, and six to do. Before I start the next lesson, I'll do these three. Well, I don't know if I want to do all of them because a lot of them are quite similar to the number five. Number five is the same as my example. Yes, of course. So I could do is four quite different. Do you have time? Again, four is quite. Similar. I could do yeah, four and six. What do you think? I think you should do six, but like, give us the answers for four and five. Uh -huh. The answers are on YouTube. You can Google. Okay. If you go to the YouTube and just type in tutorial latent heat, you'll get like last year's video. But I'll do number six at least in the next class, because number six was a section A question in an exam a couple of years ago. So it gives you a chance to see what these are like in the exam too. Okay? Now wait, before you go, hey, before you go, this morning three of you were late and two of you are acting quite childish in class. I'll let you decide who are the three people who are late I'm talking about and who are the two people acting quite childish. I would like to see this change for next week, okay?
Let me just pick someone randomly. Faisal, okay? <laughs> and Fuan, this is okay? No. And Omar? Andrew? <laughs> and Lee? Lee wasn't it? Oh. <laughs> no, I'm just picking people randomly. Ah, okay. I love how you said and Faisal, and Fuan, Andrew. Give me a breakthrough. <laughs> right, all right. I'll see you next week then. Question. No class. Not physics. Class is missed. Not physics. Class is missed. No, you will like this. Go on. What? Uh, a Sunday trip. Yeah. The options are Hellfire Clubhouse and. Uh, It is so cold. I feel like I'm going to buy it. What is this for? You don't know about this book? It's an old gun that comes out to school. That's it. And it's on the head. I can change it. I can change it. Show it to Mr. Steven. I don't know. See ya. Are there any buses in one room? Goodness, yes. Like, no, he means the direct bus. Where oh, direct from where? Here. Yeah. Griffin College? No. No. There are, um, if you want to go to like outlet stores, like Kildare Outlet or something like that. I want to go to a place where it has lots of stores. No, Dundrum then. Yeah. But you can take the Lewis from here yeah. to Dundrum. That's what I do. It's very short. Would you have a the Dundrum. The students love shopping in Dundrum. It's huge. It's ginormous. Do you have beer? Huh? Do you have beer?